Hello everyone and welcome back. The last update on this case, we left off with Wally Yanam petitioning the court to amend the conditions of his bond, which was a request to grant him permission to work in another state. And per the court documents, the motion to modify the conditions of his release was granted. The conditions under which they were granted is that he is required to submit monthly employment verification to pretrial services. So this man, as we know, is accused of being a co-conspirator in an act of violence against this young man, Andre Montgomery. And yet, he is afforded the opportunity not only to be free, but he can leave the state where the crime was committed and work in another state. It's the privilege for me. All the alleged co-conspirators had an attorney-only scheduling conference, which was on August 24th via Zoom before Judge Nanette Baker. For those not familiar with what an attorney-only conference is, this is where the judge and the lawyers can review the evidence and clarify the issues that are in dispute. Additionally, the lawyers appear at the hearing before the judge without their clients and try to agree on any undisputed facts or points of law. This is what took place. Terika Ellis's attorney, plural, requested to be removed as her counsel, which was granted. The remaining accused have until September 30th to file any challenges to the initial indictment. The government has until October 14th to respond. Also, the defendants will have until November 30th to file any evidentiary motions or notices of intent not to file pretrial motions, and the government shall have until December 30th to respond. And finally, the criminal pretrial motion is due September 30th of this year. As to the countless comments I've read saying that this is how the judicial system works, this may be true in this case. However, We've seen countless amounts of cases tried and the perpetrators convicted within what I deem to be a reasonable time. Also, let's not forget the victim, Andre Montgomery, and his immediate family, who are also victims, who have been denied justice for their loved ones, who was, without cause, gunned down in the streets like an animal at his uncle's behest. Allegedly. If you haven't already, remember to like this video as it helps to support this channel. Subscribe, share, and turn on your notification bell and stay tuned for more. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.